that you're working on, I need all to settle this here and now. Patricia, I'm talking to you. But come, I'm talking to you. Rose, what's your problem? Answer Rose, just leave me oh, alone. My money. Rose, leave me alone. I want my money. I want the equal share you got. Which money are you talking about? Share. Rose, they gave you your own money. They gave me my own money. So what, which one do you want me to I give you? You took more than me. I want my own share of money now. Listen to those men that I should have my own share. What's your problem? So, so if you did, give me my share of the money. Rose, leave me alone. Pass. Just leave me. Don't fight. Don't fight. You. Don't worry. I will see you. Somebody must die today. If you don't kill me today, I will kill you. This is getting out of hand. Okay, eh? okay Jeff, get it easy now. Nobody is going to die over any issue today. Hey, nobody's going to die to do over. If you don't want anybody to die to do over an issue, you bring out your husband. Where is your husband? Where is your husband? Jeff! Must you always come into this compound and shout simply because I am owing you money? I have told you to come by next week and have your money. You look, I will shout so people will hear me. Where is my money, Iroka? Where is my money? You look, I give you my money. Jeff, must you embarrass us by attracting attention? It is not fair now. He has told you he will pay you by the weekend. He has said that countlessly in the past. This one is not going to be different. When he came to borrow this money, he said that he will pay me this money in one week. Where is my money? You look, where is my money? Where is my money, Iroka? Iroka, where is my money? Where is my money? Iroka, where is my money? Iroka! Okay, Chef, okay, Chef, please now, please. I beg you, Mom, don't fight. You give my money, you give me, you give me my money. You give me my money, Iroka, you give me my money. You see? It's all this, take it easy. Iroka, when will you stop embarrassing the entire tenants? With the disturbance of people you are owing. If you don't have money, give out your wife or your daughter. What are you talking about? Very soon. I say. Get away from me. I have heard you people for the very last time, but I will go and come back by weekend, as you all have said. Eh? But if I go and come back by weekend, and if you all don't give me my money, I will sing a song that none of you will be able to dance. You will see. And that's what you do. Look at you. Every time you come up, where is your wife? What's that? Look at you. 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 Okay. It's alright. I don't even know what is this problem is. Why would it be intruding on our affair every time? My daughter, don't mind him. That has been his attitude since he packed into this compound. I just don't understand him. He's always too quick to get into our problems. I don't know what we have done to that man. Daddy, mommy, I know our problem is money problem, but please just try, try and help me actualize my dream to become a lawyer. I promise you, nothing will happen to you. I promise you, you will regret it, Daddy. You, you will never regret it. I mean, what is this problem? He's not even the the landlord or anything. So what gives him the right to be to be to be pushing us like that? Jesus, my daughter, you are the only treasure we have in this world. And we will support your ambition of becoming a lawyer. I will do everything to see you through university. I promise that. Mm. You've heard what you've done, said. All you owe us now is to study very hard. Hmm? It is well. It is well. Well, why don't you go in and change? I'm not hungry. There's food in the kitchen. You can help yourself. <laughs>
Daddy? Yes? I wanted to talk to you last night, but you slept very early. What is it? It's about my school. My final year exam is coming up very soon, and the registration started yesterday. How much is the registration fee? My teacher said that it is 18,900. 900 and something, but it's very close to 19,000 naira. And the registration started yesterday. <sighs> it's too much. But what will I do? You must further your education. Meanwhile, there is this job I'm doing now. That is where I intend to raise the money for the registration. Okay? Um. <clears throat> I have to go to work. No problem. When I come back. Okay? Thank you. Yes. Bye bye. You need to calm down. Everything is under control. Please, madam, come with me. You will. See, madam, I decided we come in here to talk because, um, um, you see, your, your husband sustained a spinal injury as a result of the fall, and a major surgery is required to save his life as soon as now. Doctor, please just, just go, go ahead with the operation. Please, I don't want anything, anything at all to happen to my husband. You know, we, we would love to start immediately, you know. But the bill will be 350,000 naira. And for us to commence at all, you will need to make some deposit. 350,000 naira? Doctor, where are we going to get that kind of money from? Hey, doctor, just go ahead with the operation. My daughter and I will run around and see if we can raise the money, please. As a matter of policy, the hospital does not uh, permit any form of treatment to commence at all until deposit is made. Hey, doctor, please. I promise you, eh, just just start the operation. We will run around immediately. We will, we will try and see what we can do. Please, doctor. Madam, we all fear God here, but the truth is that we don't run a charity organization. And I will advise you move fast before it's too late. You will have to excuse me because uh, I have permission to attend to that. Good morning. What I was just coming to the house to see you. Mm. Yes. I hope all is well. All is not well, okay, Buka. All is not well. What happened? What of my brother, Iroka? <laughs> it is about, it's because of him that I'm here. I'm listening. He fell off the rooftop and broke his spine. The fear wa. God forbid. What did you say? Please. We have already taken him to the hospital. They said it's going to cost us 350,000 naira. But we need to make some deposit before they will start treatment. Adugo, stop this storytelling and go straight to the point. We need financial assistance, please. Huh? You need what? Because now you need my financial assistance, eh? <laughs> you can now run to my house. Adugo, let me tell you, I don't have a dime to give you. I don't have even one naira to give you. 
Iroka is your brother and you know he loves you so much. Adugo, are you deaf? I said I don't have a dime to give you. Okay, please, if you don't have money to give me, at least follow me to the town improvement union. Help me get the money. You know they only give loans to, to widows. But if you come with me, I know that they will give me. Please, I promise you, I will pay back once the treatment I, takes off. Adugo, let me advise you. If you don't know what to do, hmm, let me tell you. Go and sell all these jewelries that you have on you. Sell your, your clothing and other valuables you have in the house. Raise money and take care of your husband. Is it not your husband? Is it not your husband? Not mine. And let me warn you. Let me warn you. If you think you can fold your hands and watch my brother die. <laughs> I do go. This village will not contain both of us. It will not. Selling those things is the best option. What else do you want me to do? Eh? Your uncle Ebuka has refused to help us. This is really sad. Because if we're to be Uncle Ebuka in the hospital, Daddy will sell everything that he owns and spend every dime that he ever owned. There's really nothing else I can do. You know, Epoca didn't even ask me if I had transportation. Those goods are valuable. I think if we sell them, we can get some money from them. The most important thing now is to save my husband. We have to do what we have to do. Hmm? So let's go out and finish up. My son, okay, you have selected what you want, eh? I hope you like them. Uh, the materials are manageable, but I'm only buying it to assist you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, how much are you going to pay? Uh, I'll give you 10,000 Naira. For all these things? Uh, see, madam, these clothes can't even go for fairly use. And the jewelries are ancient. Okay, I will only give you 12,000 Naira. If you are not collecting, I'm going. Okay, okay. Just Dad. bring the money. Dad. Um, I'll see you. You're waiting for you. I was only able to raise twenty-five thousand naira. Madam, you know this money is not good enough. This can't commence treatment on your husband, mother. I know, doctor. But I will still try and. Raise more money. I'm, I'm trying, you know. I will run around, please, doctor. See, doctor, if only you can start the treatment. I don't want anything to happen to my husband. Madam, I sincerely will advise you to get the money as soon as possible. As for your husband, nothing will happen to him. Mm -hmm. By this grace, we will commence treatment. I will mobilize the nurse to take him to the theater. In the meantime, pay this money to the patient. Thank you, doctor. You're a good man. Thank you. You're a good man. Thank you. I will not get this money now. Thank you. I, I went to the reception and they wouldn't let me see my husband. I, I've been I begging. actually left that instruction. I told them to ask you to see me before any other thing. And then you need to calm down, okay? okay. And then, um, it's not the money actually. It's mm -hmm. not the money, uh, you know. Uh, like I promised you, we'll, we'll 
we commenced the, the operation and then, um, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, we, we lost him. I don't understand what you see. Um, madam, what I'm trying to say, uh, is I'm, I'm afraid uh, your husband didn't make it. When my brother was about to marry you, I warned him against you, but he would not listen. Now, he's dead. What do you mean by that? What are you saying? I do go read my lips. You have succeeded in killing my only brother. Now your plans have worked. Me? Kill your brother? I, I came to you for help. Eh? And what plans are you talking about? You think I don't know your plans? You think I don't know the plans between you and that useless daughter of yours to kill my only brother so you can inherit his wealth and properties? Adugo, it will not work. It will not work. Not while I am still alive. Adugo, Adugo, what have you gained by killing your husband? I did not kill my husband. I will surely report you to the owner of I did not kill my husband. Ebuka, I came to you for help. But you, 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 you didn't help me. Look, this thing you people are planning, it will not work. It will definitely not work. It's because I refuse to sleep with you. That is why you are doing this thing to me, Ebuka. No problem. God will judge you. Adugo, me sleep with you. Who will sleep with you? Who will sleep with a shameless prostitute like you? Adugo, <laughs> you think you have succeeded? You have not succeeded anything, though. No. Wait for me. Wait. No. Did you really plan sleeping with her? Who? Oh, sleep with who? Me. Sleep with that shameless prostitute. Me. Then hey, what was she saying? Huh? No. Please come and eat your food. I do go. Our wife. The buying us you. Now, okay, I don't know. You are my own As the head of this kingdom. It's my duty to see that everything goes the way it should. Ebuka, your husband, younger brother, told us that you killed your husband. What has Iroka done to you? I loved my husband. I would never, ever wish him death. It was an accident. He fell from the rooftop and broke his spinal cord. My brothers, don't mind this evil woman and her evil daughter. It is their quest for materialism that led my brother to his untimely death. Now that they have succeeded in killing my brother, they should also succeed in providing the money to bury him or else adugo <laughs> or else <laughs> this village will not contain us it's surprising that you all sit here and accuse my mother of killing my father when none of you agreed to assist us when we came for help my father needed money to undergo an operation and good treatment and if we had it if any of you had helped us out he would still have been alive today. 
So why are you accusing my mother of killing him? Look at this one. Eh? I have said my own and that is final. Since both of you have succeeded in killing my brother, you should succeed in bringing the money to bury him. Adugo! <laughs> this village will not contain us all. It will not contain us all. Okay, okay. Hey! 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 Let hey! Bado! Adugo, what is it that you said you want to tell me? Please be fast because I have a very important meeting to attend. Ibuka, why are you treating me like this? I swear to you, I don't know what led to your brother's untimely death. You know me, Ebuka, it's me, you know me. You know I can never hurt a fly. God. Look, Ebuka, if there's anything I have done to you, knowingly or unknowingly, I ask you, please, forgive me. I have nothing personal against you. It's just that I am still surprised how my brother died. Okay. All I'm asking you is to give your brother a perfect in Look at us. Chisum and I are now your responsibility. How do you mean? You're, you're my husband now. And Chisum is your daughter. Nobody else. Uh, you are now my wife. And Chisom is my daughter. <sighs> I'm happy you know this. And I'm also very happy that you said it with your mouth. Hmm? I'm ready to cooperate with you to make sure that my brother is given a befitting barrier. Hmm? You see, uh, let us use this opportunity to end this um, cat and mouse fight between us. Eh? Let's, let's settle our difference. Eh? I have nothing against you, Ebuka. It's alright. Stop crying now. Stop crying. Hey, hey, my mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> Ebuka. Hey. See, I will do anything you want me to do. Door quickly, it's very urgent. Eh? All right, fast. you let me come inside? Hey, 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 wait. What for? Adugo, what is your problem? What is your problem, Adugo? What is your problem? I thought you said you were ready to cooperate with me. What is your problem? Hey? I don't understand you. Adugo, 
let me tell you point blank. I want to share your bed this night. Very stupid. You are very stupid to even utter such nonsense to me. Don't you know I'm in mourning? No, you want me to shout and let all the women men come out here? What about your wife or Abby? Abby? Get out of my house! You, will see. you see this shepherd boy? Get out! You're not ashamed of yourself! You Aloloman, man, sneak me around in the night. You want to share my bed. You're, you're just a vulture. Oh, and I'm wrong. Come and share now. Aduga, our wife, as your husband's kinsman, we called you to deliberate on the burial arrangement of your husband. We want to know how much he has in the bank so that we can use it to uh, finalize all arrangements. My elders. The money I had. We used it at the hospital. We even had to borrow money from different people and we've not even paid back. There's no money. Please help me. There's no money. Even Ebuka knows about it. I don't know anything. Adugo, I don't know anything. I'm so confused. I, I, I can't believe this. Jesus. Jesus, why? Why? Adugo, don't think we are moved by this, your crocodile tears. Hmm? You killed my brother so that you can inherit his wealth. I know. I know, Adugo. I know my brother, Iroka. He is a hardworking man. He must have made a lot of money in the city. Adugo, go and bring back my brother's wealth. Go and bring back his money so we can use it in burying him. I swear there's no money. Look, we, we could hardly afford two square meals a day in the city. Adugo, lies. Lies! My brothers, Adugo is singing a song that she has rehearsed even before now. And I do not buy it. Adugo, go and bring back my brother's money so we can use it in burying him. My brothers, I am out of this place. That's an understatement. I mean, men, I can't just understand them. You have to keep to yourself. You have to respect yourself as a woman because that's the dignity of every woman. Let me tell you something, my daughter. Men will come. Temptations will come. But you have to fight it. Because God blesses any woman that uses her body to respect him. Thank you. Adugo, since you have refused to admit that you are responsible for your husband's death, Eh? Take this water and drink it to prove your innocence. What type of water is this? It is the water I used in washing your husband's cups. I will not drink it. Why? Magagini? Because it's against my Christian belief. Eh? It's against what? Your Christian what? Christian believe my foot. Adugo, my brothers, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I am talking about, this woman? You see? 
You see, I do go. You must drink this water. You must drink this water, or I will force you to drink it. Elders, I will only take this water on one condition. Yes, yes. That Epoca drinks it first. Because I don't know where he got the water from. Epoca, drink the water. Ah, Adobe. You know, Zikwa, no, no. Epoca, I think she made a point there. Drink it. As fast as she's going to drink it. No, no, will you shut up? I said, shut up! And then there's something wrong with your head. Is something wrong with your head? And then let me warn you, you will drink this water. And then you will drink this water. And then you will drink it. And then look. And then then you will drink it. She will drink it. You drink it. It's okay. It's okay. Bring down everything. Make sure that not a bean remains in that house. Bring it out. Oh, look, get out. Who is your uncle? Who is your uncle? Come on, come on. Hey, why are you doing this? You killed my brother. You want to take over his house. Go to the city and continue your prostitution with your daughter. Remove everything. 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 Look at what you're doing to your brother's wife. Shame on you. Let me tell you, his spirit will haunt you forever. Ebuka, 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 Ebuka,
Ebuka, your late husband's brother, is very troublesome. If I decide to accommodate you and your daughter, he will give me problems in this village. Iki Adrum. He's not 18 of kneeling down, my dear. Please, not 18 of kneeling down. Because Ike Bukadrum. Please, please, I don't want. Please, you should just go. Please, go away. Don't give me problems. Please, you should go away. Doing out here in the cold at this time of the night. Why do I begin this time? My husband died. And my husband's brother is killed and threw us out of the house. And you don't have anywhere else to go than to sit here in the cold? Okay, I would uh, provide shelter for you this night, at least give you somewhere to rest your head. And tomorrow we'll see how you can continue your journey. You mean there's still some good people left? <sighs> Madam, let's go to my house. We'll start from there. You can't stay here, it's risky here. And it's cold too. Please, let's go. Follow me. Once again, I came to express my heartfelt condolence over the sudden death of your husband. Thank you, sir, for your concern. The Lord is your strength. I also want to seize this opportunity to let you people know that the rent of this house will expire in the next two weeks. Oh. 
Morgana Lord, you know we just came back from the village. Uh, that was why I said welcome. Ah. Madam, if you must know, this is the only source of my livelihood. Morgana Lord, please. What my mother is trying to say is that it's not as if she's not going to pay you. She'll pay you. But we just got back from the village. We went to bury my father. And mommy does not have any money. She emptied everything that she has and she sold her properties. Just give us some more time. Please. You push it inside, I didn't warn you. If you don't pay your house rent in the next two weeks, I'll be forced to throw your things out. To be for one is to be for armed. Thank you so much for coming to console me on the death of my father. God bless you so much. It's all right. Uh, the news came to us as a shock. So I decided to come and see you. So how is your mom, everybody? My mom, she's fine. She's just trying to cope. Okay. I think I have to go now. I just came to know how you're doing. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. As I've always said, you just need to take heart. Only God knows why it happened that way. Okay? Uh, and that reminds me. Our registration for our final year exam is going to expire a few days. When are you going to register? That's my problem. I don't even know to get the money from. Don't talk like My that. My case is just hopeless. Don't talk like that, okay? I advise you to go and see the Dean of Studies. He will be in a better position to advise you what to do, okay? Just, just do something. I've heard all you say. But there's absolutely nothing I can do to help you. Please, sir. Please, I'm begging you. There's nobody to help me. You're my only hope. Please. This is problem of money. And there's no amount of begging that can settle it. You have few days to register or you forfeit the exam. Please, sir. Please, I'm begging you. There's something that you can help me do. I mean, with your position. How do you mean? Maybe I can... I can bring something. Something like what? Our TV set. I can drop it with you. When I, I get the money to pay, I can pick it up. Please, sir. Uh... I've seen that you're not serious. Now leave my office! Please. Please, I'm telling the truth. I said get out! Don't come back here again if you don't have the money. Get out! You think I'm the examining authority or the school management? Surely come. It's okay. Joy, 
I'm sorry. I came to your house earlier today. But they told me you had gone out. So I left a message and said you should please try and see me anytime you come back. I got the message. Hope you're not angry. I hope all is well. All is not well. What is it? It's my daughter, Chisu. Chisu? Yes. What about her? I don't have enough money to pay for her final year exams. I don't know what to do. I don't know if you can lend me some money. I've heard about how you've been helping other people. How much are we talking about? Just 20,000 Naira only. 20,000 Naira. Auntie, if I give you this money, what are you going to give to me as collateral? Collateral? Collateral, yes. You know this is business. I can't give out money without any form of security. I don't have any security, but mm, I promise you, I know I will pay. I will pay. And I'm not doubting you. Mm? It's just that people have disappointed me in the past. I don't lend that money again without any form of security. Hey. Mm? Please try and understand. God, Jesus. But. There is somebody who might help. Who? Chief Epweme. We all know him as a philanthropist. Why not try your luck? Chief Epweme. Please, Will you take me to meet him, please? I will. Thank you so much. Okay. I should be going now. I'll call him and then I'll get back to you. My greetings to you. my house. Thank you, sir. Good. Um, Joy has told me everything about you. And uh, I I have decided I'm going to help you and your daughter. See, not only being her examination or registration fee, but I am going to change everything about you and your daughter. Thank you so Thank much, you, sir. Okay. Thank um, you, sir. God bless you. Yeah. But uh, you have a part to play. Um, my PA will get you a letter right now. Meanwhile, enjoy yourself. Thank you, sir. That's all. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I should be his fifth wife. Because God has blessed him with money. That he has enough money to afford my registration fee. What did you tell him? Jesus, please just consider this. He said he would train you up to university level. How can you talk like this? How can you ask me to marry a man that is two times older than my father? How can you ask me to do that? 
Let me not go to school anymore. <laughs> To run errands to my mom. You know how these things is now. Please, I hope you did not tell anyone about this. <laughs> how can I possibly tell anybody? You know how important this thing is to me. I didn't tell anybody. Oh. I came here alone. So now that you are here, we are here. Count it. No, no, no. There's no need to count it. Ten thousand naira. My baby girl, you know where you are coming. I never knew it was you. Can you see that? How would you know I'm the one? You see, you are so beautiful. You know, this is your usual school uniform has a way of hiding your beauty. Just look at you, looking good with all these. Stop! Stop it! You soon make me shy. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Anytime you are with the dean of studies, you just need to relax. Eh? I will take care of all these problems. Meanwhile, I've made an email for you. Now. Yeah, both of us can go and enjoy ourselves. Really? Yes. Anytime you I decided not to take the exam. Why? Because we can't afford it. Selena, my mother has tried to beg for favors from relations and friends where everybody just turned their back on us. I mean, <laughs> the last person my mother went to meet asked me to be his fifth wife. Jesus. I mean, we can't kill ourselves. We can't. I think you should go and beg the Dean of Studies again. He will listen to you. Okay? Just go and try. Go again. He will. Hmm? That's exactly what I want, sir. I know what you want. And I will give it to you. You will? Sure. <laughs> Pat, Pat. <laughs> you see, the ball is in your cart. Play your part and leave the rest to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You will soon hear from me, sir. All right. <laughs> My baby. Mm -hmm. That is good. can I do for you? Sir, please. I've come to beg you. Please. Where? Definitely. There's something I can do for you to help me out. I can't stay at home and not write the exam when my mates are writing. Only because I have no one to help me out. Please. Are you sure you can do what I will tell you to do? Sir, I will do it. You tell me to do. Just help me out, please. It's alright. Stop crying. <laughs> hmm? 
Tell what God can do. Don't say so that. Hope, okay? It's helpless. Gee, don't talk like that, okay? Now, what are you doing here? Get back to your class. I choose to come back. What were you discussing with her? I'm sorry. Sorry? So you are guilty? No. So, what are you discussing with her? Nothing, sir. Look, if your intention is to tarnish my image in this school, I will personally kill you. Now get back to your class! You know, I've gone to see the man. But he demanded that I should bring a short tea. You know, before he would accept me as an apprentice in his mechanical job. Are you sure of this decision? But, as you can see, I'm ready to work. Let's go and see him. You know I'll do anything for you. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, let's see the house that you helped me to rent. In this building? Yes. In the room. It's all right. In the front. It's all right. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good uh -huh. day. Dressed up for school. I don't want to go to school. Why? I've given up. I've given up with school. No, my daughter. You have to go to that school and acquire knowledge. Even if you don't take your final exams this year. You would still do so next year. The embarrassment is too much. The dean singles me out every day and he embarrasses me in front of my mate. Why must that man be so nasty? You know what? I'm going to get ready. I'm going with you to that school. No, 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 please. No. It might even be worse. Please, just leave it alone. If God says that we are going to die in this suffering, let it be. Tetanyo 
amaramna chukwani dike mwame bezina chukunonso e bezina na chukwani dike o mwame bezina chukunonso e bezina na chukwani dike Bezina chuku nonso E bezina na chuku anyi dike o Mwame bezina chuku nonso E bezina na chuku anyi dike These are the items you requested. For agreement before you could accept it came to be one of your trainings. Hope it's complete. Yeah, everything is complete. I don't think I have much thing to say because uh, most of the questions bothering me have been taken care of. Feel free to accept it came as your apprentice. I assure you of his loyalty. And if there's any problem, don't hesitate to call me. Oh, thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. Ikem, okay. you better be a good apprentice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you once again. Thank you. I have business to take care of. You're welcome. Okay. Ikem, it's all right. Let's go. Okay. All right. Bye. See ya. Okay. Um, Chike! Chike! I wish I could sing like you. <laughs> you have a very good voice. All you need to do is develop it. I can help you. Eh? My own voice is all cracked. From too much... Uh, <laughs> to on me. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make you a good child. Yes, I am now. Uh, yes, you are. Hey, hey my, <laughs> my daughter, how are you? I'm fine, ma. How are you? How is school? School is fine. I hope you're studying hard for your exams. Yes, ma'am. Trying my best. So, Chisum, how are you doing? I'm fine, ma. Why didn't you come to school today? I'm tired of the embarrassment. I mean, I'm not the only person who is poor. That's the most public embarrassment in school every time an assembly ground they come in. Let me just stay at home. It's good. Just so. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm? Sorry, oh, please. Just go inside now so mm. someone will stop between you. Yeah, okay, I will um, yeah. go and see what is there. Um, no problem. Um, I came to teach you what you learned at school today, since you didn't come. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So, I 
want you to come to school tomorrow or next tomorrow. Like, let me see what I can do. Okay? Okay. Just, just smile. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Alright, yeah. let me, let me bring my books. I mean, you said you call Chica. Ah, ah, uh, ah, uh, Chica, Chica. Come, come here. Are you? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. You are just wasting our time. Um, it's all right. Um, I call both of you here because of the new person in our midst. His name is Ikem, our new apprentice. Okay. Ikem, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine. <clears throat> Ikem, sir. This is Amy, my senior apprentice in this workshop. And this is um, Chike, the second in command. They will guide you they, and teach you everything and the rule that is guiding this workshop. And make sure you obey them always. Yes. Yeah, sir. you are seeing you. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. You hear what in Oga talk, so? Yes, sir. Maybe yes, sir, we they talk here. Uh, yes, Oga. Uh, yes, um, uh, Ikem. If there is any other thing you wish to know that they didn't tell you, just come to me. Yes, hmm? yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Good. Um, now, uh, go back to work. Oga, wait. Oga, okay, you should say this man feed you this job. Shut up. How do you look at a man like this and say whether he feed you the work? Oga, okay, see the body resemble puff puff. You say, well, alright, check him now. Come on, go back to work. Oh, yeah, you must, uh, oh, yeah, you know, you are carrying that jack off. Not sure what you do. Go there, go there. 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 No come do what is going on there? No, I got nothing. You do do well. Yeah, put down. Have you come to tell me that you have accepted my condition? Yes, I paid. I just came to ask you, please, is there anything that can stop me from writing this exam? Thank you. And we have a chain! <laughs> we have 20,000, 20, Who gave you this money? I was selling. Selling? Selling! I didn't know that she was going around begging people, asking classmates, asking her family members. She even bought for my own savings. And she gave me, I paid, I paid my initial fee. This is a change, Mama. I better get me with um, 13. 13? Which one with 13? Well, get me 13 spanner. Okay. 
pour l'autre doigt. Don't you go pack home? Spanners. I say 13 spanners, you go pack everything home. You know see where the right hand 13? Yeah, the, the right hand 13. And the same thing with this one too. Hold this one. Ikem! Come and help me hold this thing in a bag. Try. I'm tired now. I've been working since morning. I'm tired, Joe. I have to rest. We're oh, going out waiting. Are you here? Go help her. Who oh, waiting? Tell me to you. Hey. See, make I tell you, eh? lazy people. You know they allow lazy people work for here. Oh. If you lazy, you go to your papa house. You don't hear me, so? He's not calling me again. Go there, Joe. Go oh, waiting. Tell you. He came. Hey. He came. I wanted to discuss something with you. About what? Mm, it's about business. I just think that if we go into business and start profiting something, it will be a good idea now that we have little money with us. Mm. Well, that makes sense, considering that we've already paid your school fees. Mm -hmm. mm. But what kind of business? Don't you want to go back to your provision business? That business is not so profitable. I mean, considering the amount of money we have on hand. Okay. Uh, what about food business? Food. What kind of food? Mama put. Mama put. Mama put. Uh -huh. it's, it will also help us to find something to eat daily and also we will make profit from it. Food is like a necessary commodity that people would have to buy every day. Mama put. <laughs> Mama put it is. That's a good one. I'll come back early from school every day and I'll help you out with it. You don't have to do it alone. <laughs> that is a good one. Well, good morning. Good morning. You came. You know, see me. You know, they greet your city. Oh, sorry. Good morning, Chica. You did mad. What is good morning? Say good morning, sir. You see, let me tell you. You see that sound there for that good morning? It is very, very important to me. Is that why you're hitting me? Huh? Is that why you're hitting me? And if I hit you, what happens? I'll hit you again and see what I'll do to you. Woman, are you free? Hey, sir. What is going on here? Hey, it's Chike. You came and hit me while I was swimming. Chike, what is it this time? Okay. Now, who you came here for this workshop? I first came enter this workshop. Who is there you come? Why are you not gonna start to know it for a workshop? You came not to greet me. Now you go wait make I greet you. I greet him. Okay, leave me make a plug. Shut up it! 
Is that why you are beating him? Eh? Okay. Let me be straight to you, Chike. Let this be the last time you will hit any person in this very workshop. Did I make myself clear? I hear your gun. Now get out of my sight. Okay, Move! 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 Go to that jeep that Mr. Ezra brought you yesterday. Service it. Yes, huh? This poor Why? I'm trying to read so I can pass the forthcoming exam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, now wow, eh? Which kind of reading be all this one, eh? Every time you always don't you get tired? Or oh, haven't you heard? All work and no play makes Jack a what? A dull boy. You could have tell him. Yes. As we are going to cast some fun. Fun. Mm -hmm. How? Do you know Angela? She's celebrating her birthday in one of the biggest hotels in this town. So she invited all of us to come. She's even inviting influential young men that matters in the society. At a party, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yes, These guys are rich. These guys will make your day memorable. These guys will give you money. But you have to spend time with them. You have to spend quality time. But they will give you money. They give you money. They don't. They go. Mm -hmm. Selene, mm -hmm. you're going for this party too? Yes, sir. Don't be this awkward and again in the approach of this or that. Pat, I tell you see this girl to the door, eh? I tell you now, I mean, let's leave this place, huh? Who is that? Just be reading, be reading, be reading. I mean, let's leave, bro. You won't go Cambridge. You are busy? Mommy, take no. Look ahead, my mother, eh? Mama, eh? you're back. How was school today? Hi, not so. So I'm not selling, no. Honestly, yeah. look at her. Uh, everything, everything. I'm coming back, eh? Uh, you want to come and sell for me? Yes, I'll help you. Hey, Chisamo! Oh. Hmm. Thank you, Father.
Nice woman, come. What do you want chop? Um, you get spaghetti? No, I don't get spaghetti, but I get uh, I get the white, I get, I get jollof, I get rice, I get beans, I get uh, plantain. Okay. Uh, put a uh, rice for dinner for me. Okay. And what next? Put uh, agua. Twenty naira. White. How much meat are that? Which meat you get? I get for my guest shack. You get for more? I get for more. Put one of one for me. Okay. Maybe for you. I don't get you. choice now, now you the pin now. <laughs> Madam, put as you do for me, eh? Okay. Just a bit small, make a... I know I'll give it. You just put this like this. Ah, hey! You're back! Uh -huh. Let me help you. Hey! You sold everything! <laughs> hey! Our God is good, though. Let us have going. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it's good, it is empty. Put it here. Put it inside here. Hey. Okay. Go, go, go with that one. I'll come. Okay. Eh? Okay. Let's go. Eh? Yeah. Let's go. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> so <Come on. laughs> hey. Um. You came. You came. The same, the same thing with me. Why do you want to eat me? I'm supposed to eat me. I'm without me to this one. Ha! Without, without meat? Okay, why now? Why, why would she give me food without meat? I get that. I get that. What was that supposed to mean? Let me see that when I tell you down. See, he came with us come which day? Now I get mad to ask you why they go give her food without meat. This guy get big eye. You know the year. Um, you can listen very carefully. As a new apprentice, you are not going to be eating with meat until another apprentice arrives. Chike here started enjoying meat the moment you came. <laughs> so now the rule for this workshop. They hear me so? Ah, now crime to be apprentice so. So who did that one now? Thank you, Jaren. If you like, go ask Oga. I got that way of everything. I bet you know the job pass on to me. Bring her, come on. Look at that. Thank you. Studies anymore. Ah, just, uh, hmm? Yes, I do go out with them. And I also take my studies seriously. Have you forgotten that I'm aspiring to be a banker? Mm -hmm. So, are you going to teach me this assignment or not? Sit down and teach. Thank you. But you have to wait for two minutes and finish this calculation.
That, that could be very heavy. <laughs> Why did you have to do that? What did I do? You know what I'm talking about. You put a piece of meat beneath my food. And when I wanted to inform you, you gave me a sign. Meaning you knew what you did. Well, I did it because of pity. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stand the way they were maltreating you. Thank you. But I'm concerned. What if you're scolded? for that meat. You know, nobody paid for it. That's not the problem. I can handle my mom. You sure? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Chiso, my name is Ikem. I know. What about? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, okay, landlord. Mm, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I'm not there. We are fine, sir. Okay. I was told you people kept looking for me the other day. I hope all is well. Yes, so, hey, okay, landlord. I brought your rent for you. But unfortunately, you are not around. Oh, really? So, where's the money? Chisom, you know where I. Hey. So, okay. I'm not there. Fine, how are your people? My dear. We are trying to. We are trying Well, by God's grace, at least we've been able. Chisom! Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Oga, it's in bundles of uh, 20s. So you will check and see uh -huh. if it's correct. Yes, sir. It's complete. Okay. It's complete. Alright. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be now. Nah. Okay, you You're paying your rent. Yeah, I'm not you quarreling with you people. <laughs> eh? Yes, sir. You're doing good this time around. Just keep it up, eh? Thank you, sir. Just keep it up. Mm. Hey, my daughter. My daughter. How's school? School is very hard. Eh. Hope you're doing well. Very okay now. Uh this one I do for you. Don't worry, I will soon come and uh, do something about it, eh? That will be nice, sir. Uh, hey. uh, I'll be on my way. Thank you. Eh? Uh. Just so. He's a very funny man. So because of money now, he knows I go to school. <laughs> At least we paid him. You know why I was calling him? I just bought some more cap for you with mm -hmm. <laughs> Ube. What a surprise. I know. Do you worship here? Yes. I never knew you worship in the same church. That's good to know. Um. Okay, sister. Okay, take care. Greet your mother for me eh? and your sister. Don't be offended. Eh? Yeah, I know. It's okay. Why are you dressed like this to church? Is there anything wrong with this? Oh, no, no, no. It's just that I feel like whenever you're coming to church, you should wear your best. 
Uh, well, hey, you know, that's the best I can afford now. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a mechanic apprentice. So. It's okay, as long as it's your best. God will appreciate it. Who was that boy I saw with you when you were coming back from church? Oh, his name is Ikim. Mm. Ikim. Who is Ikim? Uh, yeah. And who is Ikim? Uh, he's my friend. Oh, no. Mom, he's just my friend. Okay. So, for how long have you known him? For some time now. And um, he's a mechanic apprentice, uh, one of those mechanic shop where my mama busy have um, supermarket. Mechanic apprentice. Yes. Mm. My daughter, you have to be very careful of men. Hmm. Fisi. Don't ever forget where you're coming from. Okay. Let me go. Okay. I was reading my Bible when. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I thought you won't come over. No, I was busy. Um, I bought you these oranges just to thank you for your kindness. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Just accept me as your friend. <laughs> Okay, um, thanks. Bye. Thank you for coming. You should have told me that you were coming now. Look, I have house chores to do. I know. That's why I came to help you, uh, considering what you've been doing for me. You know, silver and gold have I not what I have. Okay. So, okay. What is that? I'm sorry, but you uh, have uh, to leave. Uh, 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 leave the young man. Oh, good evening, ma. Good evening, my son. How are you? I'm fine, ma. And what is your name? Uh, my name is Ikem. Ikem. Yes, ma. I see. You're welcome. Thank you. You came to see her. Yes. yes. No. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
is a nice person. I admire his humility. He's also very hardworking, Mama. That's one of the reasons why I love him. Did I hear you say you love him? Uh, no. No. I mean, I love him like a brother. I have something for you. What is it? Oh God. This is fine. You bought all these fine clothes for me? Yes. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Where did you get the money? That's from my little savings. The ones that customers dash me. But they are fairly used clothes. They don't cost so much. How did you know my size? I just described you to my customer. And he gave me those clothes. He assured me that it would suit you. I'm very sure that they were your size. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, I need to start going now. Okay, bye. Take care of yourself. No one is seeing us. My wife traveled to the village with the kids, and none of the students is going to suspect us. Sir, you, you know I'm doing this because you promised to assist me in the forthcoming final exam. Yes. Look, Pat, I have told you don't be afraid. I am the dean of studies of this school, and nobody can change that. Okay. Sir, if you do this for me, I promise to... to Give it to you anywhere you want it, anyhow you want it. I promise to give you everything that makes a man go crazy. Look, listen, I have done this for other students in the past, and yours is not going to be an exception. Mm -hmm. Come and give me. Come and give me. Listen to me now. Huh? Just give me some minutes and listen to what okay, I'm just what leave me saying. Hmm? I don't want to listen to you. Just leave me. Okay, okay this you don't want to listen to me. Peacefully. Then I'll force you to listen to me. Stop it all. Stop what? What is what is what is wrong with you? Huh? What what is what is wrong with you? I'll give you. Walking home, man. Eh? 
Breaking the vow with yourself. What do you expect me to do? Eh? Do you think I will just wait for Chisom to come back from the market before I start preparing for the next meal? <sighs> oh, Mama, let me help you do it. This must have been a horrible experience. Your uncle conniving with your kinsmen against his own blood. This is the height of wickedness. Kim. It was horrible. It's bad. It's something I never, never want to ever remember again. But anytime you, you come around to assist us, the whole thing just comes afresh. Not in a bad way, no. Not in a bad way. Uh, so how do you mean? We haven't had a meal in this family for a long time. I mean, after my father died, you coming around and offering us your assistance and your help, it just makes us feel very safe. It makes us feel the presence of a man. It's okay. It's okay. You know, tell me about your family. My parents, my parents are just there. Um, let's leave the discussion about my family for another day. Uh. Okay. Can't be. Everything. Can't be the end. Why do they talk like this? Now you don't trust me. Oh, wow. I am the hottest in this town. She's you know. Nah. <laughs> I've been here chatting with them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry now, Fano. Where is your dress? I'll be here chicken with us. I'll be busy. I'll be running some errands for my mom. <laughs> and since when did you start running errands for your parents? Don't mind her. You. Someone has been influencing you. I know. Show you. <laughs> Bookworm. You don't join. <sighs> I like the color of this dress. <laughs> But it's so small. Where would you wear it to? <laughs> and where do you think they go to with such dresses, if I may ask? Oh. Would they go in the house courts? <laughs> looking at this. You should know Olympic self. <laughs> see, see these dresses and you're asking us where we're going to. <laughs> I beg you. Oh. This can we get out of here before I get angry with this girl. Village girl. You never seen. The question you ask at times baffles me. You don't need to ask Pat and Rose where they were doing with those scampi rights. They go outside there to patronize men who give them money. So why are you blaming me? You don't need to ask them now. Okay. 
So are you still going to come to our house so we can do the revision together? Yes, I will come. So, mm. do you have any other? Yes, I have economics class in the next five minutes. Let me go and attend with you. Chisum, I still don't know the best approach to solving this equation on question number three. I'm trying to, but I'm getting it wrong. You see, x squared plus x Hello. Jesus. Hey. Hi, no. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, um, why is my wife? She's fine, but she's not around at the moment. Sorry, Ikim, this is my friend, Salim. Salim, this is my friend, Ikim. Salim is my classmate. Salim, how are you? I'm fine. I can see that you people are studying. Yes, it's just a little bit difficult, but I'm going to crack it. Um, let me see. Okay. Maybe I can help you solve it. Okay. What do you know about mathematics? You never can tell. I was good in mathematics when I was in secondary school. <laughs> this is a quadratic equation. x squared plus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. Find the value of x. Simple, you factorize x plus 4 into x plus 3 equal to 0. And then x is equal to minus 4 or minus 3. Hmm. And that's it. This is wonderful. <laughs> Celebrating. By the way, tell her. Mm -hmm. Tell her what we are celebrating. In fact, tell her what she miss. We are celebrating our new BB. <laughs> like Blackberry. Ball five. You know those guys I told you about? Those rich guys. They give us BB. The latest in town. Oh. Ball five. Huh? Blackberry, the latest in town. You know, now I can Facebook um Twitter. Get one word, get one word. No for my hand in front of these girls now. Bingy! Bingy! Yes! How can I forget? I can, you know? Hey! 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 All I'm saying is that we can't continue keeping away from them. They are still our classmates. I'm not keeping away from them. It's just their lifestyle that scares me. Selene, so, I love myself and I'm the only daughter that my mother has. Only child. I don't want to get negatively influenced. Is it because they have boyfriends? Oh yes, maybe because of that. But majorly because they are too young to have lost themselves to the world the way they have. Mm. That's by the way. How is your mechanic apprentice friend? Oh, he's fine. And I am so glad that he came to help us with our mathematics yesterday. Mm -hmm. See our scores today? Mm -hmm. Jisuma was so surprised. We scored all the own maths. Yeah. I looked into that particular assignment. Sure. Yes, that guy is so brilliant. He's very, very intelligent. That's why I really like him. He's a true friend, you know? <laughs> Just um, You like him already? Yeah. What will you gain by liking an honorary mechanic apprentice? Eh? It's not as if he even has his own shop. Selene, mm -hmm. I would not have you insult a king. <sighs> has he gotten to that? Yes. Just don't insult him. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. 
God bless you, Mama. Good morning, students. I am happy to see you too. Please sit down. Now listen to all of you. The timetable for your final examination is out. I will direct the Dean of Studies to place it on the notice board for you all to see it. And I want to use this as an opportunity to talk to you all. But you should take your studies very seriously. You all know me very well. As the vice principal of this school, I don't take nonsense. I will not hesitate to hand any student that gets involved in examining practice to the appropriate authorities. Have I made myself clear? Yes. <laughs> Going by the medical report from the school clinic, you took abortion pills. That means you were pregnant. I wasn't pregnant, ma'am. Shut up! You look like a liar. I wasn't pregnant. My dad is a doctor and my mom is a nurse. What has it got to do with what we're saying? Seems like you don't want to come out with the truth. I will invite your parents. Now get out. Get out of my office! Now let me tell you the truth. Then come out with it. It's, it's, it's Mr. Phillips now. The dean. What has Mr. Phillips done? He, he, he has been sleeping with my friends and I. He, he promised to bring someone to assist us in our final exam. Students, I'm here to inform you that Mr. Philip A.K. is no longer the Dean of Studies. A teacher is trained to be a murder and not a destroyer. Mr. Philip A.K. has been dismissed from the school. Hey! 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 Patricia Ede has been placed on indefinite suspension. The use of mobile phone is not allowed in the school premises. And any student caught will be expelled. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes. You won't. Thank you. Not sufficient for us to commence treatment to your mother. Doctor, I know. 
But please, I would go and get the money. I'll run around and look for it. But please, I beg you in the name of God. Just commence treatment on my mother. I don't want anything to happen to her. By God's grace, nothing will happen to your mother. But I would advise you get the money as soon as possible. Alright? I will not disappoint. Just give me <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Huh? So this girl is not Which girl? You ask me. You don't know Chisoma again. Chisoma, you know now. Ah. How you take no fish and no cook? And you only two, two, two. I say me, I see her with my eye. She just entered Mr. Mike's workshop. Nah, 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 nah. If you like, you believe me. If you like, no, believe me. Anybody will believe you, and the person no see. The person no get sense. Why can I go? Why can I go see for myself? Right. This girl no cook. What do you person? Oh, 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 but this one really important, I beg. Just try to help me. Please. I'm my last one here. I think they will come crazy for you. I beg, thank you. All is not well. My mother is very ill. I came so I can just take the money that people are owing me. We need to take her to the hospital. Uh, Ogachike, sorry, excuse me. Person not they owe you. Person not they owe you. I'm not the old person. I think I will give this money tomorrow. What's in that now? I'm not going to fight you. I beg you. Very original. Life and death matter. I beg you. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't want that one. Uh, Itim, you get any small coins in my pocket? No, dear Shishi, they come out of off. I'm off here. Please now, please, I'm in a hurry. I'm off here. Thank you very much. You are not now, I'll drop this small money. Let me come to the brass before I workshop here. Okay. I beg, take, take, take. I'll see you later. to raise the deposit for my mother's hospital bill. We asked to deposit 40,000 naira. I managed to get only 20. That's why I was running around to all the customers so I can I can get back our debt and see if it will be enough. I only got back 4,050 naira. It's never gonna go halfway. It's okay. Let's um let's go to the hospital and see your mom. I'm scared. The like, doctors will not accept this. And the man I will start treating her. Well, at least let's go to the hospital and pray for her. I trust God to take control of everything. I think so, I think so. Just the headache. 
Don't worry. Take it easy. Mm. You'll be out of here so. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Take care, Mama. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Chisum told me some moments ago that you are hospitalized. Mm. Mm. By the grace of God, nothing will happen to you. Mm. But Chisum, why did you drag him here? No, he wanted to come. I didn't drag him. Um, I came on my own. She didn't force me to this place. Uh, uh, Mama, please let me call Amy in my workshop to help me attend to my custom. I will soon be back. I could only raise 4,020 Naira. God. The doctor said that if you don't pay by tomorrow, you'll stop giving me drugs. God. I don't know who to borrow from. I don't even know who to go to to ask for. You must stop crying now. I don't know who to go to. Be. There's something I want to ask you. What is that? Okay, don't say no. Uh, I have to know what you're asking me now before I give my answer. But if it's something I can do, I will not hesitate. Okay, that's true. Okay. Please, can you come and stay with me in my house? It's becoming really scary staying in the room. And I've been having so much nightmares ever since my mother was hospitalized. Okay, uh, let's do it this way. You are the one that is having nightmares in your house. Mm. Let's go to my house. No, huh? I can't. Ah, come, let's I go. I can't. See, 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 see. I promise you, no playing games. You can trust me on this. Let's go. Um, my dear, please, my dear. Um, please, uh, help me wash this clothes, huh? Let me rush and buy bread and uh, cut off our breakfast. Okay, no problem. But, but please, um, can you come back quick? Because I need to go and make breakfast for Mama. Well, I'll soon be back. All right.
I will stop. Oh no. Huh? I told you. No, you didn't. But Ikim, see, why do you have so much money in your pocket? But where did you get that money from? Money? Which one? This one. I found it in your pocket. Hey, it's my August money. His client gave me to give to him and I forgot. I'm in trouble. Ikim, it's wrong. You shouldn't bring such an amount home. Anything can happen. I mean, you can get robbed or the money can get missing and you will not be in debt. It's true. Go on. Go on. Keep it somewhere safe, okay? It's true. I'll soon be done. Um, Madam, you said the, the patient in Ward 5, right? Alright, um, this is what you do. Uh, make the payments uh, to the cashier at the account unit, right? And then we will take it off from there. Thank you very much, Doctor. What about this? Okay, okay that's. Yes. Yeah. Um, I will take it off, right? Okay, Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Bye, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Have a safe birthday. Um, I have to be going now. Mama will be expecting me back. You know, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Take care of yourself, okay? Yes. Uh. differently. The nurses, they come here, they're so nice. And then the doctor has been coming here almost like six times in a day. I hope you're not going to add these things to our bill because we don't even have money to, to pay, pay the hospital bill now. God forbid. Let me go confirm for the doctor first before we enter into trouble. Hello, you're here. How are you? Please, do sit down. Sorry, I just came to ask because I saw some provisions. Yes, uh, a particular young lady was here a few hours ago. She brought those and also paid up your mother's hospital bill. Who? I wouldn't know. She only introduced herself as Evelyn. Don't you know anybody by that name? No. She said she runs a non-governmental organization. So I'm not really surprised. We see that happening around here all the time. So Okay, I, I see the cashier on your way out to collect a, a refund of your initial 20,000 euro deposit. Okay. Thanks. All right. Mama. I can see that you are looking healthier and stronger today. I am better. Yeah. Yes, I can actually <laughs> move my whole body. We thank God. I thank God. Though. Thank God. Uh, where is that Chisa? She has got to sort out some things with the doctor. Okay. Mm. Somebody here? Yes. Yeah. 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 A miracle happened in this hospital. Miracle? What, what kind of miracle? He came. Please help me that time. Mama, it was a total stranger that paid for everything, all your bills, and gave you this expensive provision. Eh? Uh, all my bills. Everything. Doctor said she even go to the cashier and collect our 20,000 there. 
might be as a result of that prayer we made. God has answered our prayers. Oh, God can do all things. Why we must trust in Him? Hi, God will bless the person that brought this. Oh, this God is merciful. He will never fail. Um, <laughs> I'd like to take you out later in the day. <laughs> take me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where will an apprentice like you get money? Wait. I hope you're not stealing your gas money. No, how can you talk like that? I'm not a thief and I will never be a thief. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you a thief. But seriously, I'm not going anywhere because I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> okay, you got some money, eh? <laughs> I'm assuring you, eh? nobody's going to embarrass you because of money. You know, this is the first favor I'm asking you. Say, this is the first favor. Please do it for me. But I've never gone. <laughs> I've never gone out before. <laughs> oh, that is the first time. Hmm? Trust me, you know, with me you're safe. Just trust me. Eh? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <Thank you. Jesus. laughs> I brought you here to eat and drink anything you like. Mm? Feel free. The bill is on me. You can. I appreciate all this. I mean, it's, it's incredible, it's beautiful, and it looks very expensive. And thank you. Thank you so much. But you came. Who are you trying to impress? Yes. Is it me? No, I'm not trying to impress you or anybody. I just brought you out here to show you how happy I am to be loved by you. That's all. Okay. In that case, I'll have only ice cream. Ice cream? Yes. Why ice cream? It came because they have a sign up here that says Please, no credit. Bills are to be paid at the point of service. Signed management. And I do know that you can afford ice cream. That's okay for me. Sincerely. Okay, let's go for ice cream then. So, what are you saying? I can't continue with this. Are you sure of what you are about to do? I thought about it and I've seen that I can't continue. I must quit for my life to move forward. Your life will move forward in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Uh, it can what exactly do we do? Just as I told you. Let's do as I told you. Trust me on this. Okay. Let's go and see him. Okay. okay. Let me. I know. I have come to thank you. On behalf of Ikim, we are happy the way you've handled him as your apprentice. Thank you very much. I will use this opportunity to tell you that uh, Ikim's elder brother in Abuja has concluded arrangement to start up another type of business for Ikim. Really? Yes. And as a matter of fact, Ikim will not be learning this work again. He'll be traveling to Abuja to join his elder brother. Um, 
y que él Okay. Uh, okay. I, I would have loved to conclude my training here, but it's my elder brother's decision. So let me go and see him. So. That's all right. Uh, I must say I am glad with the little time we spent together here in the workshop. Thank you, sir. Uh, you need to go and see him. And I wish you good luck in your new line of business. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go and pack your things. Thank you so much, okay? Thank you, my dear. All right. <laughs> ah, Thank you. All right. <laughs> um, why these guys? It's just that my brother is insisting. I would have loved to stay back. Stop crying. Stop crying. I, I, I'll keep in touch. I. Oh my God. Please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so, so much. So what is it you said you want to tell me? I'm all ears. My husband. I heard you had a quarrel with Anini over a land. I beg you, stop all the squirrels. It's getting too much. If it's not an issue over a piece of land, it's molesting a widow, or a case of challenging yourself with diabolical means. Mm. <laughs> so, Obi, you have joined the bandwagon of all those that are spreading rumors and gossip about me. Hmm? My own wife. My husband, I'm only advising you to stop indulging in such quarrels. Don't forget that we're going to have children of our own. Listen, Aubrey. <clears throat> listen well and listen good. Never in your life will you ever advise me on matters like this again. Ever! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes, my husband. But I have spoken my mind. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> this is nice. Mom, you are really spoiling me. <laughs> Oh, me, I just couldn't laugh from the hospital. You need all the spoiling. I know. Mom, mm -hmm. you know, now that you're better and out of the hospital, I'm thinking we should go back to our business and try and revive it. We spent everything that we had. That makes sense, you know. <laughs> Maybe we should start by next weekend. It will give us time to buy all that we need for, for the market. Okay, well, that'll be enough for me to go around to my customers and tell them I'm coming back in business. They must have missed you. I know. But I know that once you're back, they will rush to you. Because sure. sure. your food is the best. <laughs> so what are you going to have for dinner? <sighs> Even rice is my favorite dish. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, I would like to have it with Ofaabu. Ah, don't be that basket fish. Wow. You know how you make it. Okay, okay. okay. let me go and prepare it. Okay. okay. Right. Put a little bit of a trowel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Darling, thank you. Anen, is everything all right? No. Oh, no. Everything is not all right. And that is why I'm here to tell you that Ebuka has beaten more than he can chew. 
and I will not hesitate to deal with him. What is it this time? He wants to take my portion of land and that will be over my dead body. It's okay. Nobody will die. I will investigate this matter. Then I will get back to you. Eh? You, you better do no. Please, just do. Just take it easy. Looking like that, it's me. He came, the mechanic apprentice. He came. Can't you recognize? He came. Mama, hey, he came. He came. What? What happened? Uh, I'll explain. I'll he came. Is this you? He came. Yeah. Just it's some. It's he came. You no. Know? Can't you give me a hug? <laughs> come, come on, let's go inside. Just some, come. Welcome, uh -huh. welcome. Amy, we need this here. This can't come, we need to do one for here. Pass our power. Factory. Factory. So, you mean you guys also can't recognize me? Oh. I am Ikem, the mechanic apprentice. What? What? Ikem? Yes. So, um, where is Oga? Let me see him. No, Oga, come out too. Okay, tell him I'll see him later. How? How come? Um, okay, okay, let me tell you straight. I was never poor. I'm the son of Justice Maxwell Osita. That name now, very popular name for this state. Who be that retired Chief George? Hmm. That's my father. My man born you? Yes. Jesus Christ. Hey! 
So why you can't carry yourself on the dirty dirty for our workshop? Well, well um, I disguised myself for a purpose. I was searching for a wife. And now the purpose has been achieved. Thank God. So who can't be the... Who can't be the girl now? You will see her soon. Oh boy. Hey! Bad thing no good. I say bad thing no good though. Hey! Let me. See. You keep my hand, they touch any half of garage. Anyhow. Hey! Bad thing no good. I say you no good to the look down on person. And now the person be no good. Hey! Oh, come on, come on, stand up, man. Come on, come on, you're my guy. You're my guy. Um, I, I don't have time. I have to run along. So, um, you guys should manage this. Have this. Okay. You know, just uh, sort yourself out. Mm -hmm. You know, so fine. Hey. You know, all right, take care. Okay, thank you. Right. See how far for you. Hey. Sure, sir. But how hey. to know good? Oh boy, yeah. You had a rough any half of garage. Oh, cast, cast like this. Me. I've had your complaint. I want us to settle this issue amicably. Oh no. Anene here is the one trespassing into my land. That's all. Hmm? Oh no. <laughs> I won't allow a to take away that portion of land from me. Never! Anene and Ebuka. After my investigation, I find out that that land belongs to Udoka's widow. Hmm? Yes. None of you should step his feet into that land again. Oh no. Whose widow? Udoka! Oh no, okay, I said I will not leave. And watch Anene take that piece of land away from me. And you're talking about the um, 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 widow. Eh? Oh no. Udoka's widow. Anene. I will not leave and watch anybody, anybody take that land away from me. Bia will look out for. Ebuka singi, Bia will look out for. Administration. Ah, he killed. Huh? No wonder you solved that mathematics that day with ease. Ah, he came. Well, I must have to tell you now also that I paid your mama's hospital bills with those provisions. I instructed my manager, Alex, to give Eve my secretary the money to make those payments and buy those provisions. Eve Oh! It came! Oh God, you're such a genius! And, and there you were, you were praying for the person who, who brought all those things! What can I, can I say? Ah, it came. God bless you. It came, you will never, ever suffer. Amen. Thank you very much. But it came, why? I mean, why this guys? This guys is not the best solution to any problem. I don't know what you are running away from. But. You could have still been yourself and achieved anything that you want to achieve in this life. Look at me. I'm myself. And I have you as my friend. You're rich. I'm blessed. But I was myself. You know what? I'm still going to give you another surprise. <laughs> Ah, I'm done. I've done it. 
I've finally gotten a girl I want to settle down with. Really? Oh, really? Where is she? Did she come in? No, 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 she did not. Really? She did not. Really? Uh, who is she? Um, How old is she? Uh, about so uh, very young. Uh, her mother is. Her mother is alive. Why not invite her over for lunch tomorrow? We would like to see her. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll do that. Spicy. Um, that's good. That's good. Thanks for the food. Very nice. Um, Mom. Ikem is inviting me over to their house tomorrow. I hope all is well. Yes, he just wants me to meet his parents. Just mm. when you get there. This is Chief Mrs. Chiyun Osida, my mother. Oh, my dear, thank you very much. Dad. Yes. Mom. Yeah. This is Chiso, the girl I want to marry. Hey, what? Hey. What a beauty. So, she is the one we've been expecting since. Yes, Dad. Oh, my dear, just, just sit down. What? Sit down. Um, this is not what I expected. How do you mean? It came. You brought me to your house to introduce me to your parents as your wife. Sure, because I love you. And who says I want to marry you? Huh? I'm in love with someone else. This is it, Ikem. I gave you everything a father should give to his son. All you could pay me back with is to bring a girl to my house to embarrass me. Dad, it's not like that. I'm sorry. So, how was it like? No, tell me that you, you, you were out of sight for three good months only to come back with a girl you could not even strike a formal agreement with. That is the height of irresponsibility. Please take it easy with him. Take what is. Now talk to your son. Talk to him because I won't tolerate this kind of embarrassment again. You came, my son. What we are saying is that you've come of age. We want you to settle down, get married, and give us grandchildren. Yes. This house is too quiet. I will give you grandchildren. But I've not just seen the ideal girl of my dream. Uh -huh. You know, the ideal partner that will be compatible with me. Marriage is a lifetime thing, so one has to be careful. My son, 
there is no ideal woman anywhere. Even when we got married, what I think you should do is just get a girl of your choice, a girl you love. Bring her home. By the time you stay one, two, three years with little adjustments here and there, you would have made her your ideal woman. You will make a good home. I think that's what you should do. But well, you will agree with me, Dad, that these things take time. I'm just asking for a little time. Ikem, did you say little time? Yes, to sort out things. Ikem, I want to ask you a question. Where did we wrong you? We sent you to the best university in the whole world. Have that for Christ's sake. You have your own company today because of our help. You have acquired wealth. You are rich. You have everything it takes to be a man. You are a man now. But what I don't understand is why you don't want to settle down and, and give us grandchildren. I need children in this house. This house is so quiet for me. I understand how you feel. I don't think you do. Huh. Okay, I'll get married soon. I'll give you my word on that. You get married soon? Yes. Okay. I am waiting. No waiting. Do it fast. Go get married and have children. Where's my money? Do you have money? You must give me money. Do you have money? Okay. Hey, 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 just because I refuse to sleep with this man. He <laughs> said I stole his money. I don't know who to believe. But please let her go. Drop my money. Look, I'll give you 200,000 naira. Where are you? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you sir. Do you have money? Do you have money? Hey, 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 hey. What's that? Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, my name is Jane, and I'm here to see Ken. Okay. This way. Okay, after you. Don't worry. So, what do we get you? Um, 
<laughs> Anything soft to do. Sure. Zuby. Zuby. Honestly, you don't only have a nice house, but also a good cook. <laughs> I don't have a cook. I still eat out. You don't mean it. I do. So where did you buy this food? My boys buy my food from exotic restaurant. Hmm. Their food tastes real good. <laughs> you like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's enjoy our food then. And enjoying it. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> yeah, just, just come. Just come. So, Jane, what's the meaning of this? You couldn't class this after dinner yesterday? Ah, sorry. Am I supposed to clear it? Sure. Are you not a woman? I'm sorry, I'll do it right now. Sorry. I didn't want money. I... The drawer. I was just cleaning the drawer when I saw your money and decided to count it for you. Mm -hmm. So since when did you start cleaning this room? Okay. How much have you counted? It's three, six, six. So you decided to steal my money like you did your boyfriend? Hey, 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 you can hold it right there! Huh? Why are you bringing Ken into this matter now? Besides, you don't have to insult me just because I took little money from your drawer. After all, men like you spend millions on their girlfriend's hair without batting an eyelid. You know, I should have listened to your boyfriend when he told me that you are a thief, a common criminal. Now you pack your things and get out of here. You can't. And I was... Don't let me use the boys on you. There's someone in Pika that wants to see you. Who's that? Someone you know very well. Please, I'm actually in a hurry. Oh no, it's not going to waste your time. Okay, if you say so. Hi, pretty. Yeah, hi. I was driving with my boy when I saw you going into the shopping mall. And I'm like, how can a pretty girl like you go shopping without a guy like me to fill the beer? I appreciate your gesture, but thank you. 
meaning? I'm okay with what I'm going to buy. Maybe some other time if I'm going shopping, you could foot the bill. Okay, can I at least have your number? Don't bother. Why don't you give me yours? I'll give you a call. Okay. Um, now, I didn't ask you your name. That means, if you don't call me, stop. I'll definitely call you. Shall we? That would be nice. I know what you would like. Okay. finish this transaction. I'll be too soon. Just give me some time. Eh? Oh, baby, I'm hungry. I feel like having my lunch. Okay. This <sighs> 10,000 naira. Tell one of my boys to take you to exotic restaurant. Buy out some lunch. I can make do something. Uh, maybe 10,000 naira is too much. I'd rather go to the market and get some food items. You know, make us good lunch and dinner. Can you do that? 
Of course. I don't even like eating out. That's nice. Okay. Then tell one of my boys to uh, take it to the market. Hmm? Okay. And see you shortly. Mm. See you shortly. From the aroma of this food, I know it will be delicious. Of course, love. <laughs> I know you would like my food. After. Go ahead and eat it and tell me what it tastes like. Alright. Mm -hmm. Baby, who's that? You put all this pepper in this house and this food. Baby, I'm sorry. You want to poison me? Baby. Spell. Baby. This time of the night. You know you're making me to cry. Me? You profess you love me every day. But you don't know the things that make me happy. Huh. Okay, now. What do I do to make you happy? Maybe many things. You see. I want to start leaning on quality fashionable things. Like hairs, shoes, clothes, handbags. And I also want you to finance my trip to Dubai. So, how much are we looking at? Maybe just 10 million naira. Okay, just 10 million naira. Oh, yeah. Vivian. Can you give a detailed account of how much I've spent on you and your family since we started dating? 500,000 Naira for your father's treatment. 350,000 Naira for your younger sister's school fees. 250,000 Naira for accommodation. And 1 million Naira for your business, all in a space of two months. And now, you still have the boldness to say I should give you 10 million naira only to start another line of business. <laughs> it came. Are you insulting me because I asked for just 10 million naira to start up your business? Can you give a detailed account of how many times you've slept with me? Mm -hmm. Is it now for sale? Kim, are you giving me the money or not? Okay. I don't have such money for you now. <laughs> of course, you know you're my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I love you so much, for real. <laughs> Well, baby, why are you still going to pay the money into my account like you promised? Oh, thank you. <laughs> why do you want to know where I am? I'm in my brother's house. I told you that earlier on. Vivian! Oh, please, baby, let me call you back. Okay. Why do you not climb into your house? Is that your business? Vivian, I've shown you great love all through this relationship. And I've done everything to please you. And you've shown no appreciation at all. It came. Please stop this long, Simon, and go straight to the point. Your conduct is not the conduct of a woman I wish to marry. <laughs> Who's going to marry you? Me. 
Am I blind and stupid to marry a stingy man like you? You call me stingy? Very stingy. Anyways, no need wasting my time on you. I'm leaving here. I be? Why, why, why would you peck him at all? I just pecked him to show him how appreciated and suit me. That's all. He came. Don't tell me you're jealous. What's your problem? Are you suspecting me? Take me out of here now before I lose my temper. He came. Take me out of here.
Sandra. I don't like that. Your smoking habit in this house is getting out of hand. Ikem, you are disturbing my peace in this house. Oh yes. You complain over every single thing I do and it's getting to me. These are things I do at ease in my father's house and nobody complains. Why? It's just different. He's giving this entire house a foul order. Oh, cooks the crap, boyfriend. Ikem, I don't smoke for fun. The weather is cold, I need to charge up my system. It came. Yes. I shouldn't smoke. I shouldn't drink too. Are you for real? Like seriously? Cheers. You're so boring. You're boring. Excuse me. You the man are you? Call one of the boys. They should take it to the laundry. Sandra. Yeah? You mean you want the boys to take these things, including your dirty undies, to the dry cleaners? Mm hmm. Oh, so you've not even heard about the art date that says you don't wash your dirty linen outside. I'm sorry to bust your bubbles, boyfriend. Such adage doesn't work for me. All right. Cheers! The problem I have with you is that you're so cake and so rigid. You're so old fashioned. Like, seriously, are you for real? Call your guys to take them. This place looking very uncanny. So, what do you want me to do? Tidy it up. Clean this place up. Let it be neat. I mean, don't you feel disgusted with death all around you? Excuse me? You should have someone to clean the whole mess up. Yes. Ikem, I don't run such errands in my father's house. Your mother actually came begging me to get married to you. Do you turn him into some slave? Sandra, if you don't want to behave like a responsible, marriageable young girl, then do the right thing and leave my house. You didn't mean that, did you? Ikem, you don't mean that, do you? Ikem! Ikem! About what? About Ike, my son. Mama, I overheard your discussion with him. You know what? I'm tired of discussing about this issue over and over again. The problem with your son is that he's so rigid and so archaic. Jeez, he's so boring. I can't take this nonsense, Mom. I can't. Mama, you know what? I wanted to see you and discuss about this issue with you because this wedding is not going to work, trust me. It won't work. But you love each other, don't you? This is what you said when you came to my father's house to beg me to come get married to your son. Mama, as it is right now, going back to my parents' house, where I can plan my trip back to the UK, where I can get some modern dude, some modern guy, not some local guy he came or something. Don't insult my son in my presence. At this point, Mama, I'm going in there to get my bags because I'm leaving the house right now. God! I'm a boring guy! I can't 
I told you, I told you that you wouldn't listen. Look at the garbage that came from Senator Kavor's house. Look, mom, I'm tired of all this shit. I need some time to sort myself out. You need more time? Yes. What time? How much time are you talking about? Three months. Three good months? Yes, to sort myself out once and for all. And while this time lasts, mom, I want you and dad to let me be. I want you to let me be. Three months. Three months, you can reset. Three months. Three good months. That's exactly how everything happened. Son, I understand you very well. You took a right decision. You made a right decision. But you need to find out the reason for her upset. You know, we were going on very well. And I thought when I introduced her to my parents as my wife that she was going to be excited. So I decided to keep it a secret just to give her a surprise. But lo and behold, I was so embarrassed and heartbroken for her to tell me she was in love with someone else. I, I don't know. Ikem, let me talk to you now as a woman. You see, we women handle things differently. The way I would have handled that information might not be the same way the other person will handle it. I personally think that she felt so embarrassed because you didn't discuss it with her first before introducing her to us. That's what I think because I am a woman. So sweetheart, please try and find out. Go to her. Okay? All these things are born out of my ugly experiences with women in the past. It's unfortunate you had to go through all those things. But that's not enough for you to change from who you are. I'm sorry if you saw it differently. I didn't mean to upset you at all. It's obvious that I am too used to you now. I can't enjoy my life without you. Please, I ask you humbly, will you marry me? I told you before that I'm in love with someone else. I'm in love with the man who effortlessly took away my pain and my sorrow. A man in whom I have found comfort in. The man who won my heart when I least suspected it. Who is this man, if I may ask? He's my friend. He's my brother. And he's my love. He's a mechanic apprentice. And his name is Ike. That's me. The same person here is the same person in the mechanic workshop. I, I have tried. I've tried so much to, to make that adjustment in my head, but it's not working. With two different people from two different worlds. Jason. <sighs> If you are in love with the mechanic apprentice, I can easily go back to it. Please accept me. This is the real Ikem. Please. 
you change once. And you can change again. Why should I believe you? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, I can't do this. I have decided to marry you. Really? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I wish that was how it happened. You. I just sent you some to the market to buy some things. It's okay. It's okay. Mama, it's you that I actually came to see. Me? Yes, ma'am. What is it? I came to beg you to help me talk to Chisum. I've told her the reasons why I disguised myself as a mechanic apprentice. But she doesn't just want to accept me back in her life. She doesn't want to accept the real me. I love Chisum and I want to marry her. Mm. Okay. When she comes back, I will try and reason with her. And, you know, try to tell her all you've said. Eh? Okay. Okay. Oh, Mama, I am not trying to lobby you or influence you. I believe I'm now a, a member of this family. So please, ma'am. Oh. Uh, let's accept this little token and use it to. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Thank you so much, eh? God will replenish your pocket a hundred times. Thank you. so much. I'll, I'll walk you to the top. Hey, Hey, you can. Thank you. It's your parents. This is the term of your request. Huh? <laughs> it doesn't go out and come back without accomplishing its mission. Oh yeah, it's all huh? <laughs> Prepare for the burial of Ichie and the Anene. Oh, if I job. Within one week. <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> Remember, no woman must touch it. I no go, no. I no go, I no go. I'm the man who didn't me. Oh, 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 You're taking this a bit too far. I am your mother and I will never deceive you. Ma, how can you advise me to get married to a man I do not know? It is the same he came. And he told you that he did what he did for a reason. Mama, if he changed once because of the challenge of looking for a wife, how sure are we that he's not going to change again in the future, given another challenge? Chisum. Ikem is a good man and he will make a good husband. I will not marry him. But why wouldn't you marry him? Because the Ikem that I love, I contributed a little bit in his life. And I know that if he gets married to me, he will respect me and he will treat me right. And he will cherish me. This rich and famous Ikem, I do not know him. If he gets married to me, what's the guarantee that he's not going to treat me like another furniture from China? I can't believe you just said that. That's not the Ikem that I know. Mom, Ikem did not ask me to get married to him when he was poor. If I marry him now, it will be because of his money. I tried to talk to her, but she wouldn't listen. Honestly, I, I don't know what else to do. What do you advise I should do? Ikim, I'm confused. I don't even know what to tell you. Okay, I'll go. Thank you very much. I tried in vain to win her back. Oh. Mm, I just can't take my mind away from her. Oh. She's so real. Oh, what's this? You have a call, sir. 
please, please, please. I have more important issues to deal with now. Just tell them I'm busy. Don't worry me about calls now. Son, we invited you so that we talk things over with you. We learned that uh, you got yourself drunk yesterday. That is not proper. You don't have to allow yourself to be demoralized because a girl you intend to marry did not accept your proposal. You don't have to. She meant everything to me. She has all the qualities I ever dreamt in my ideal woman. Oh, come on, son. She isn't what the stress you're putting yourself through. She isn't. Come on, drop it. You may not understand. She's brilliant. Humble. And obviously pretty. You know, my son, you are not more experienced than myself when it comes to women matters. If you cool down and take things easy, you will get another girl you love and will love you more than even Jisong. So take life easy. The it's Examination right. Council has released the result of this year's Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination. Given the results as published by the Council, there is mass failure on the part of the students who took part in the examination. Nevertheless, three students who came tops have been rewarded with a scholarship. The students are Kate Paulson, Chisom Iruka, Abdul Kawawole. Dad! Chisumi Ruka. That's the girl I brought here to marry. That's my girl. Second best in the country. I said it. Oh, I'm happy for her. That's nice. I'm happy for her. Ma! This is news of fire. Come on, join me, singer. I'm exchanging your entire way. President Jonathan visits an understated two days. As you see, the results were missed. Outstanding students were missed. What is it? What is it? I took second. Coconut starts on the ground. My name is Joy Bird. Mary Jane, she's just an astronaut. She's a singer. Mama has exploded in a shopping mall located in Harare, the capital city of Zimbabwe, in the early hours of today. So it's hard that over 22 people have been. Yes. Honestly, for this girl to be the second best in this list, it means there's something really special about her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's brilliant. It really is brilliant. What I don't know will not kill me. Oh.
Good day, ma. May I help you? Yes. Let me formally introduce myself. I am Mrs. Chinwe Osita. Ikem's mother. Ah, Ikem. How is he? He's fine. Ma, please come inside. No, no, don't worry. I came to see your daughter. My daughter? Um, sh she's not home, ma. Uh, Mom, what is it? Can I help? Because of your daughter's refusal to my son's proposal, made him so depressed that he took to heavy drinking. And that landed him in the hospital. He came. God. But. What do you want me to do? Please. I want you to plead with your daughter to accept my son's proposal. You are a woman like me. You know what I mean. Please, I beg you. I'll do, I'll do my best. I will talk to you. Thank you. It's my, my regards to him. He's in the hospital. Oh my god. What happened? Because you turned down his proposal, he got depressed. Took to heavy drinking. Now he's hospitalized. We need to go and see him. You have to go and see him. This is the time that I will teach you the lesson of your life that you won't live to tell. Ogugu, this is what you have asked me to bring. The sound from the footsteps of Ichie and Anene. <coughs> Thank you. 
By any means. Yes, I did. I, I was cleaning the house and it fell down, so I picked it and I put it back there. Ah. You shouldn't have touched it. You have killed me. You have killed me. My husband, what can I do to stop your pains? <laughs> but do you know you are the reason for your misfortune? I've advised you severally to desist from patronizing witch doctors, but you refused. If you don't go about collecting land property from one widow, it's engaging in one atrocity or the other. Now see where it has landed you. Hey! What are we going to do now? The game, my son, is no longer responding to treatment. And we have concluded our plans to fly him out. That's serious, ma. It's very serious, Jesus. The doctor said he calls your name each time he regains his consciousness. Can't you just come and say goodbye to him, even if you don't love him anymore? Please. Jisom, you have to go to hospital and see that young man. Can't go anywhere. Chisum. If anything happens to that young man, the young man that stood by me while I was in hospital, I will not, never, ever forgive you. Just so please. The doctor said he calls your name and sings an incomprehensible song. What did he came do to you that you can't forgive him of? What did he do, my girl? Tell me. I beg you. Please. Please. I'm true with him. All you need to do is to persuade him to follow you right away to the car. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm not sleeping in one place yet, my dear. Get up. I'm not sleeping in one Let's go. I want to. I'm thinking. Let us I want go. to be left alone. Let us go. What is this again? Let's go. Can't I rest? Huh? Can't I rest? Can you, you don't go in a rich girl. You will sit in. Don't get a bug and you will stop me. Huh? I'm out there. Can I rest? I have to rest with me. I don't want any of them again. I want to be a celibate. I want to be a monk. I don't want. I don't want. No, no, no. Oh, what is the matter with this woman? I don't want. Oh, I don't want any of them again. Please, please, please. Oh, this woman again. This woman. She came. She came. Oh, he's rich. She is so big. She came. She stayed. She came.
down. You have refused to accept all that I have offered you. <laughs> eh? You mean your offer? Yes, now my offer is very good. But do you know it adds weight? Eh, but we have to eat weight or no weight. <laughs> no and you know, Chisom knows how to make it very well. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That... Mom, we are ready to come. We, as in you. she and I, are. <laughs> Oh, I came now, I'm beginning to enjoy the whole thing. I wanted to go with you. Yeah, my head is saying no foul. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her he has weight. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I will see you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why are you still holding her away? You know we are going. <laughs> Where you will be living with Mama. What? Yes, ma. This is where you'll be living with your daughter from now on. Oh, come on, dear. Jesus! Jesus! Mama. Jesus! Hey! No, no, no. Wait, wait. Mama, Jesus! Okay. Jesus! Mama. Mama Jesus! Okay. Mama, it's okay. Let's go inside. Hey! Come on. Hey! told us to carry our load. No, there will be no need for that. Everything you need now is in this place. So there's no need of your bringing anything from your former house. This is heaven. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, uh, Mama, um, this is James, one of my most faithful and trusted boys. He will take care of the security of this place and respond to your every need. James, this is my fiance and this is her mother. Take care of their welfare. And let's go inside and see.
So this place is beautiful. Oh my god. How's your mother? Chisholm, my mom is fine. Ever since I lost my dad, mm. things have been very tough for us. Coupled with the fact that I had a very, very poor result. Oh. No, it's okay. You know, my mother and I, we are planning on launching this NGO officially for all the people of this village. It, it will extend to you. I mean, your mother is a widow, so it will really extend to you. We are going to take care of the children of the widows and see them through school for how many... How, how long is she going to be in school? Seven. Seven. Medicine. Seven. We will see you through school for the seven years. Please. You don't need to thank us. No, 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 no. God has blessed us. My husband is way beyond this. So put her name on the list, okay? Okay, I will. in the next two weeks. <laughs> that is good. I have been waiting to hear that. It means I'm finally getting married.
married. You really bad. Yeah. And that means one more thing. We need to get to the village to inform the elders. with me. She's getting married. That's why we're here. To tell you that the in-laws are coming for a formal introduction. Oh, that's good. That's good. Where's your wife, Obi? Ah, Dugo. She left me here to die. Adugo. Adugo. I have committed so many atrocities against you. Adugo, I, I have killed so many people. Adugo, I am responsible for my brother's death because I was angry that he took you away from me. I am responsible for your many miscarriages. <clears throat> Please forgive me. Take you to the hospital. Mm. 
Um, to cut the long story short, uh, Mrs. Mm -hmm. call your daughter. Call our daughter for us. Jisum, 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 Jisum. I hope uh, she's the one. Oh, yeah. I want one. That's right. Mm -hmm. said that your uncle, Ebuka, passed on. Okay, uh, am I supposed to be sad or happy? Well, sad, but um, we did our best for him. That's all that matters. Okay? Don't let it spoil your mood. Hmm? And <laughs> Ichiro Keke was also apologizing for being part of the conspiracy, you know, you know, the set of people that sold your father's land. He was part of it, so he was also apologizing. But not to worry. I prepared something for lunch. Come on, let's go and have some lunch. <laughs> okay. I remember very clearly, it was just like yesterday. The first wedding gown I bought for my wife in England was not all right and we ordered for a new one. <laughs> and that one came three days to the wedding. Oh, and everybody was running Kelta Skelta. Hey, how are we going to do it? It's a very hectic thing. And marriage itself is a gradual thing. You build it all, it continues to rise and build up and solidify. Until it is done. Are you too? Mm. Are you giving me a sort of lecture on? <laughs> oh, yes, what you're stitching me. It's a bit about marriage mm. and wedding. <laughs> I hope you didn't tell her about my wedding gown. Indeed. <laughs> you told me how you almost freaked out. <laughs> Thanks, <you> Wajadi. <laughs> 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 
Gabi nga na naman! Oh, well, uh, we're ready to go. Admission and the irrational behavior I displayed at the hospital when you came to see me, you know, and sang our song. Remember? Though I was depressed and took some strong drink, but I was not mentally disturbed, nor was I sick as you were meant to believe. I planned and executed all this with the support of my parents. It wasn't real. I don't understand. Why did you do all this? We had to do it. To know whether actually you're still in love with the really Kim. What about all the nurses, the doctors, everything that happened in the hospital? It was all arranged. You know, they were sympathetic to our relationship, so they agreed to help. Now I want to ask you, will you reject me now because of this?
There was something that I wanted to talk to you about last night. But you slept very early. What is it? It's about my school. My final year exam is coming up very soon. And the registration started yesterday. How much is the registration fee? Let's just say that it was uh, 18,000. 800, I think just just um, very very close to 90,000. So it is, it is. You said it was. Sorry, yeah. Rolling. Action. Mm, okay. okay, okay. That means his name is different. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Okay. If I say he came, he should, he should know that. So that's that why he would jump all the way. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 When you say he's a you used to be, same thing. See, see, that's, 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 that's giving him hope. Yes. Yes. I'm struggling. That's giving I'm him struggling back. for you to accept me. That I am the same person. You said he came now. And you are saying no, but you are not. It's the same thing. He is he came. He came is the you that you used to be, that you pretended to be. I'm sorry, you I'm in love with another person. Another man. That is, did you see, did you hear my English when I was saying these lines? Mm. Did you hear the fact that I did not say I'm in love? I said I said I am in love with another person yes, because yes. I came back. I did not say nothing was here. I cannot repeat I'm in love with another person two times. I've already said it to him. That's why he's here to know who it is. I said I said I'm in love with another person. I said I'm in love with another person because I, I brought it back home. I think what was that line again? Someone okay. I, um, I'm in love. I, Okay, like I said, I'm in love with someone else. A man who has won my heart at a time I least expected. What does that mean? I'm not basically a female. I'm trying to kill you. Now, let's Exactly this. what are you trying to say now? No, no, for no. that line. This is your time. No, I don't understand. No, no, yes. I said I'm going to take this one. This, I'm going to take uh, it. So, that's the guy. That's what I'm saying. That's me. Look at this line. So that's me. Mm -hmm. I'm the game. I'm the same person. As in, I disguise myself. Uncle, I understand. I read the script very well. So but I'm saying that like, even if those are my lines that I said, unless you just want to take it the same way it is in the script. No, no. If what? I say I'm in love, I, I'm in love with somebody. He, he, who is the person? He is my friend. He is my brother, and he's my love. He is a mechanic apprentice. He is Ikim. And I say, he is my friend, he is my brother, and my love. He is a mechanic apprentice, the you that you used to, I used to know. The same thing, I don't need to call your name. Like I just say, I'm Ikim. Of course you are Ikim. No other person is Ikim in the film again. No, what I'm saying is, the you. The you you used to know. It's like giving That's him hope. Like, yes. What are you saying now? If I say Ikim, who is Ikim? That, okay. It's not the you that you, you used you to know. You already said that you, you don't have a problem. It's just mm. grammar. grammar. This is just grammar. Okay. Let's I'm just it. saying he is he came. Yes. Let's, he came is who he used let's to be. Let's take it this way so that I uh, my line. Or I who can he have pretended to be. I can have the next yeah. line. Yeah, he's in position. He's trying so to if you it say to it, me. then that means he's taking my you adopted this one line. I haven't so I haven't. If you say I'm still the same person, which is let's just go with the line that is here. Okay. Because here you're saying mm. you are two, yeah, different. two different people. Two different. So I should not take this one. I should mm. not take this one. I no. I, I tried to make. I tried to join that. that. Just, okay. mm, I tried to make that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Really? Action.
Two major, they are not going to be a man. I'm 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 not going to I want to see your daughter. She's not for me. Please, sir. Huh? Okay.